Football is one of the most popular sports worldwide, and with over 3.5 billion fans living for the game, they're beyond excited for the World Cup to be held in Qatar after FIFA announced the host city at the ceremony. Most of the Arab states are well known for their impressive and glorious buildings, and the stadiums in Qatar are no exception. In fact, some US $6 billion was invested in total for the construction and remodeling of the stadiums where all the matches of the Qatar 2022 World Cup will be played. Fun fact, did you know that in Qatar, there's still the first flexible and removable stadium built with containers that will temporarily host matches? Well, you'll have to stick to the end of this video to find out. Qatar has a population of fewer than 3 million people. Despite being a small country, they have gone all out to create and remodel eight amazing breathtaking stadiums to envy worldwide and start the World Cup big. Now, with over 1.2 million fans expected to visit for the tournament, the country is expected to benefit greatly both during and after the tournament. While the organizers built stadiums with modular elements to extend the World Cup's legacy beyond Qatar, the reconfiguration will leave Qatar with stadium seatings between 20,000 and 25,000 people, meeting the majority of its domestic entertainment needs. All of the stadiums are powered by solar panel farms, and their cooling systems have been meticulously designed to accommodate Qatar's hot climate. After all, a football superstar's fainting does not make for the best headlines. In fact, Qatar's commitment to environmentally sound practices earned all four or five stars from the Global Sustainability Assessment System. Everything is very impressive. In this video, we'll take a look at these eight modern wonders, how they were made, how much they cost, and the incredible stories behind each one. Number 1. All Bait Stadium with an investment of $697 million, it's perhaps the most recognizable football stadium in Doha, Qatar. It has a capacity of 63,000 spectators and was completed in 2015, after winning its bid to host the 2022 World Cup in 2010 Qatar set about building the stadium. The building drew inspiration from the traditional tent of the nomadic Benduin people of Qatar, locally known as Beit al Shaar Tents. The flowing fabric is echoed by the billowing walls. In the hot desert climate, such tents are ideal. The al -Bait Stadium, on the other hand, has slightly more high-tech solution. A massive retractable roof will keep the interior cool in the scorching Qatari heat. The tent-like structure also provides shade for the pitch. The stadium's innovative design earned it several sustainability certifications, including a 5-star GSAS rank. However, the stadium is much more than a football stadium. Within its huge walls are five hotels and a shopping center. In a breathtaking display of opulence, these luxurious hotel suites and rooms all have balconies with views of the football field. Apart from its other stadiums, it's unlike any other stadium on the planet. The stadium will host eight games, including the opening game. The upper tier of seats, however, will be removed after the tournament and offered to developing nations. It's a daring move that will decrease the stadium's capabilities to less than 32,000 people, a more controllable figure given the local city of Alcor's population of only 200,000. Number 2. Al Janob Stadium. The next one, with an investment of $286 million, is built in one of Qatar's oldest neighborhoods. It was designed by the famous British Iraqi architect Zaha Hadid, who happens to also be the designer of the famous London Olympics Aquatic Center and Beijing Daxing Airport. However, Zaha Hadid died in 2016 and never witnessed the version of her postmodern and neo-futurist design. The swooping frill curves of the building are meant to mirror the sails of traditional Dao boats used by pearl divers to weave through the tumultuous currents of the Persian Gulf. It's easy to see the resemblance. In fact, the curvilinear roof gives viewers the impression that they're on a ship. The bowed beams that support the roof also look like a ship's hull. It's a lovely nod to the seafaring history of Al Wakra, where the stadium's located. It's also a retractable roof and a sophisticated cooling system that can lower the interior temperature to as low as 18 degrees. The 40,000 seat stadium was constructed as a part of a larger project, as are all major developments. The stadium was designed in conjunction with the new precinct to sit at the heart of an urban extension of the city creating community-based activities in and around the stadium on non-event days, as explained by the architect. 
The sports center encompasses swimming pools, spas, a shopping center, a wedding hall, and schools, as well as sports facilities and restaurants. Number 3. Ahmed bin Ali Stadium An impressive stadium, which is also known as Al Rayyan Stadium, located in Qatar's former major arenas, is one of the cheapest stadiums built by the Qataris with a price tag of 434 million, but no less breathtaking. The stadium is a master class of upcycling, with in fact almost 80% of the construction materials being reused, not that you could tell. The stadium features a huge media facade and a membrane that acts as a screen for the projection of news, commercials, and tournament information. Number 4. Al Thumama Stadium Located in Al Thumama, a district of Doha, the stadium is just 12 kilometers south of the city center. The $575 million stadium is centered in a 50,000 square meter public park, brimming with greenery. Where the 20,000 seats are removed, a boutique hotel is planned and a branch removed Espitar Sports Clinic. The stadium has an Arabic aesthetic. Its design is based on a traditional gafia. That's a woven hat that's popular among Arabic men and is named after a native tree. Although it seems like an unusual design choice for a football stadium, it's still breathtaking and strikes a bold, elegant image of the Qatari skyline. The design of the stadium is so inspiring, it was awarded at the Mipa Architectural Review Future Project Award in the sport and stadium category in France. The stadium has already hosted six games in the FIFA Arab Cup 2021, including a final between Qatar and Algeria. Number 5. Education City Stadium The city of Doha has been extremely proactive in planning for the World Cup, and it's clear that they put a lot of thought into infrastructure and transportation. With an investment of $724 million, the Education City Stadium is located just south of the city center. The stadium has a capacity of 40,000 fans. The stadium is nicknamed the Diamond of the Desert. A single glance tells you why. The building was designed by Fenwick Era Baron. In pattern design, it was a facade composed by a myriad of diamond shapes, giving the overall structure its jewel like appearance. It's an environmentally sustainable stadium, also receiving 5 star rating from GSAS. It's also stated that 20% of the building material comes from green sources. Number 6. Khalifa International Stadium. After a $387 million investment in the stadium, it has a capacity of over 40,000 spectators and was specifically built for the World Cup. It features state-of-the-art facilities, including a retractable roof that can be opened or closed in one minute, making it one of the most efficient stadiums in terms of air conditioning and lighting. The stadium was also designed to meet FIFA's highest safety standards, including a reinforced concrete frame, a dual-layer polycarbonate sheeting on all exterior walls, and an underground drainage system. In addition to hosting World Cup matches, it will also be used for concerts, sports events, and other important events. Number 7. Lusail Stadium Lusail Stadium is a multi-purpose stadium in Doha, Qatar. It's also the biggest and boldest of Qatar's new stadiums. Here will be hosted the final game of the 2022 FIFA World Cup. The Lusail Iconic Stadium is the result of an investment of $2,178 million, with 80,000 seat capacity is planned to be reconfigured after the event to a more manageable 40,000 seat stadium. Parts of the building are expected to be repurposed into community spaces, including shops, cafes, athletic and education facilities, and even a health clinic. And finally, do you remember the question we asked you at the beginning? Well, as crazy as it sounds, here's the promised answer. Number 8. Stadium 974 formerly Ras Abu Habout Stadium. This one is a temporary structure built from recycled materials and shipping containers with modular steel that has costed $741 million. It's designed to be dismantled after the World Cup ends. The stadium is named 974 after Qatar's international dialing code, as well as a reference of the number of containers used in the construction. With a capacity of 40,000 seats, it's the first temporary venue in FIFA World Cup history. Four designs uses containers for bathroom and concessions in stadium outer wall. The waterfront arena is uniquely beautiful, maintaining the grandeur of traditional stadiums with the modern spirit. It received a four-star sustainability rating from GSAS, but the cost of the temporary structure is unknown. The stadium was tested in the 2021 World Cup up until the last 16. 
That's it for today. Thanks for watching and staying until the end of this video. Do you think this innovative stadium in Qatar shows that the state has exceeded the expectations of creating the greatest football stadium in the world? Let us know what you think in the comment section below. Catch you next time.